So we're going to look at the first thing. We're going to look at a recap of what we did, what we did last time, and what your homework was. And then we're going to look at always at the due dates calendar to remind ourselves what's coming up if you haven't done a chapter one review. So we went through a little bit more of the, of the uh, Blackboard menu, looked at the alias sheet. And you know, it's kind of interesting that I took the AutoCAD alias sheet and I made all the same keystrokes in Inventor, which is also an Autodesk product. You can actually fashion uh, what keystrokes you want and create um, multiple keystrokes or shortcuts in AutoCAD as well. So that kind of gets into the next level of things. But, um, but I also printed out all the function keys. You know, Autodesk um, Inventor, at least, has a picture of your keyboard, and it shows, you know, the names of those. So it's kind of neat. And it had this other thing where you could actually make um, sticky labels and put them on your keypad. But I don't think I want to do that. I just like to have the reference. So we talked about the alias or the shortcut keys, and it's a lot faster if you can type with your with one hand, use your mouse with the other, and not hunt and peck for those commands on the screen. And there are drop downs again. You know, we got icons to get away from drop downs. Now they've gone back to drop downs again, which I don't understand. All right, so it's always important. Of course, you guys are here today, but if you can't be here, always watch the class videos. The homework was to complete chapter one review test. It's an exercise, open book. It's just an exercise. It's just a daily work thing. Um, it We're providing the first four chapters of your book until you get your books if you don't have one. And dang it, I still forgot to ask if 2021, what's changed in 2022. But I will get that to you, Roberto. Um, let me see. There is a PDF in, a, in, the tour, in this course link. So when you go to this link, when you go into Blackboard, you can click on this and it will get you to that area. And um, if you wanted to, I said that you could go ahead and read ahead and a flipped classroom. If you've ever been in that, I would give you the reading before the lecture so that you can review it. You might have questions and it kind of helps you kind of understand it as I go through it, because I don't want to read the chapter to you. And I don't think you want that either. Um, so I think the orientation video is due by 1159. Um, last time. So let's go and look at our due dates calendar. If I go down here, scroll down a little bit, submit, what does this say? Submit the orientation agreement. And, and let's see if I put that chapter one in here. Didn't even put a due date on it. So I'm going to go ahead and put a due date since I didn't put one. I'm going to put one on for Monday the 31st, and it will always be the same day as our class so that you can ask questions, and it will be at 11.59 p.m. Always at 11.59 p.m. That way, you know, you have time to do it in the evening. So reminder to myself to do that, and that is in uh, Chapter 1. So if we go down here to Chapter 1, that was just describing technical drawings, and we did that a little bit in class. We're going to move on to chapter two now, and that is making multiple views of the same thing. And how do we do that? And how do we make that easy for us not only to draw, but also easy for people to understand the drawings themselves? How do you get from one view to the next and understand how that, how that relates to each other? So I'm going to go into the chapter two curriculum here. Um, what we're going to do is uh, talk about multi-view drawings. We're going to explain how they're chosen. How do I select only a few views? And how many views do I need? Visualize and interpret the views. Describe projection planes. Describe what normal incline and oblique surfaces are. And then we have to talk about the line types. There are different line types for different things. 
And it's kind of like a legend. You know, if you look at a map, there are some dashed lines, there are some thicker lines, and that's going to help us read drawings as well. And line weight is its thickness. Um, we know that line types could be dashed, they could be solid, and there are some other types that we're going to learn about. Um, interpret the multiple views of graphics. Describe orthogonal projection. And what does that mean? That means X and Y projection. How do we project geometry from one view to the next? And there are certain things that we have to do to be able to do that. Instead of remeasuring and redrawing every time, we can actually use existing views to make new views. Um, explain the difference between drawings with first angle and third angle projection the lines and line weights, uh, how to use a miter line. Nobody ever taught me this, and this is the coolest trick. And we're going to be sketching. You're going to use a pencil. You're going to be given grid paper to use to draw these things. I don't care. You know, some people um, think if I've used solid works, then this is going to be easy. It's not. You know, if you've ever skipped over this in your learning uh, regiment, then you've missed a lot. So there are tips and tricks to that, and we're going to look at that. Okay, <clears throat> so the terminology of technical drawing, this is a PDF, and we're going to go through this. It's on page 28 through 35, and that's what I asked you guys to review before you came into class. And this is a lecture on multi-view drawing. So you can watch this lecture. You can also, you know, you'll be here in this class. I'll be talking about it. And you may hear some different things in this. So I'm going to ask you guys to go ahead and watch that because we all teach different ways. And I know that I took this class getting ready to teach it from the people that made these videos sometimes. And they're, they're really good lectures. They really kept, uh, you know, said things in, things in ways that I really got. And then we're going to have uh, an assignment. So you're going to read 36 through 70 on the grid sheets. You're going to start uh, drawing multiple views. So without um, further ado, we're going to stop this recording and we're going to start into the lecture portion of chapter two.